My name is Natasha Turner and I'm a lecturer in Spanish at Christ College and Director of Studies in Modern and Medieval Languages. And I teach critical theory, translation and modern Spanish, Catalan and Latin American literature. Why do you research queer studies? Um, I got into queer studies in, I think it was the first year of my undergraduate degree. I was really sort of kind of ser searching for that, ma that material. Um, I really like this thing that uh, Richard Kim says about queer encounters often being first with other texts rather than with other bodies. And I, I really feel like I was sort of searching for those texts on, on the curriculum. And luckily in MML, that there was representation of, um, there was a lot of queer literature on, on the curriculum. Um, and then after that, um, during my MPhil, I looked at a, a McEwen writer who wouldn't self-define as, as queer, but, but I think I consider her text to be uh, to be sort of queer literature. Um, and yeah, then my PhD was on was on kind of Catalan um, and Latin American uh, queer writers, I, sort of queering ideas of inheritance. Um, and yeah, it's it's been it's been very very important to me. Uh, really to see uh, queer identities represented in in the curriculum. Um, I really love this idea from Heather Love that talks about uh, queer critics kind of focusing on the heroic aspect of their work of historical recovery and she talks about how and um, we think of ourselves as rescuing in the past when in fact we sort of dream of being rescued ourselves and I think for a lot of researchers it is a very very personal endeavour. Have you ever faced challenges in queer research or teaching? Um, yes, I think uh, given that the idea of queer is a concept that's sort of been consolidated in the Anglophone Academy, um, I think we have to be very attentive to local specificity. Um, so I d d dealing with contexts where uh, queer might seem like a kind of imperial concept or a concept sort of being applied from, you know, from uh, North America and from the UK. So there's sometimes some resistance to that, to that term. Um, I think we have to be very attentive to ways in which uh, the term is sort of adapted in different concept, in different contexts or, or indeed outright rejected and be sort of sensitive to, to those issues. And so I have at times faced challenges in trying to uh, make sure that I'm representing um, theories of sexuality from the context in which I'm working and bringing those into dialogue um, with the Anglophone theory that's quite dominant in, in queer, in sort of pro studies of, of queer literature and, and queer theory. Why is it important to have a queer curriculum? I think it's important for students that our curricula reflect society and issues around gender and sexuality obviously affect everyone. I think it's also important to challenge assumptions. You know, we do live in a, a heteronormative society. It's important to challenge assumptions and think about living and, and seeing the world in different, in different ways. How do you queer the curriculum? I think queering the curriculum is about sort of methodology as well as content of curricula. Um, and Jack Halberstam talks about a sort of scavenger methodology, sort of searching in the detritus in what's been rejected from, from disciplines. Um, and, and sort of reading between the lines sometimes of, of the more kind of traditional worldviews, I guess, that are, are depicted in literature. So it's sort of teaching people how to read queerly, as well as um, making sure that we have queer literature represented on, on the curricula.